right, we're all going to be out the TV to get everything else. <laughs> right, here we are, ready for your rematch with your uh, nemesis, yeah. Lawrence Bennett, mate. How's it going to go? Um, I see the fight, you know, I see it ending pretty early. Um, I see him just running, uh, me chasing him, mm. trying, trying to, you know, just trying to survive in there more than anything. Um, but I, I hope I'm wrong, I hope he comes to have a go and makes it exciting for the fans. Yeah. Well, listen, I mean, I watched out last time out in Blackpool. Fine performance, fifth round stoppage. And uh, as I said on the night, you looked like you were having fun in there proper, mate. Yeah, yeah, you know, we've stayed in the gym, we've stayed sparring. You know, we're off to Denmark on Sunday to spar Mickey Nielsen, unbeaten, 20 and 0 fighter, 14 knockouts. Southport, so it's perfect for uh, Bennett. And um, it's this sort of thing that's keeping keep my confidence up, you know, going away, training, sparring and fighting regular and, um, you know, it's making a massive improvement. That's what we were talking about, wasn't it? Is that regular with you? You needed to be like that. That year out before the uh, Oval McKenzie fight didn't do you any favours, did it? No, no, it, it definitely didn't. You know, I think it showed over the last four or five rounds, you know, my composure left me a little bit and that's just due to inactivity. Mm. So, you know, if I can keep this, keep, keep, get a good run going and keep uh, busy. Um, some big titles will be coming my way. Well, you're still only young, especially as a cruiserweight, 27 years old. Yeah. You've been around a long time. Yeah, yeah, I've been here. Seven been, years. Um, well, no, I turned pro at 18, just just from my 19th, yeah. yeah. So it's, you know, and, uh, a long time. I've not had a lot of fights considering how long I've been in the game, so, you know, I need to stay as busy as possible now. Well, uh, listen, when I come down before the last fight, you look really sharp and things you might be working on. I've seen you put them into action, mate, so I'm really looking forward to this fight. Good luck on February 13th, and hopefully uh, bigger and better things after that, mate. Definitely. Thank you, Lee. Appreciate it, mate. See you later, mate. See ya. Um, after probably, you know, admittedly a bit of a disappointing year last year, um, you know, at the time, probably was, you know, obviously not very happy about the, uh, the overall, overall McKenzie performance, but overall went on to get a draw in a world title fight, so it kind of puts things in, in perspective. Um, it'll be challenging for the um, English Cruiserweight title, and um, be looking to uh, obviously get back in the British, you know, British title mix and um, you know, back where he belongs as well, which is which is well and truly firmly at you know the top of the cruiserweight division in the UK and, and hopefully beyond. Yeah, you know, it wasn't the best well, it wasn't it really a fight, I mean it lasted a minute and a half into the to the first round. Um, this to to get the rematch on such a big bill with the talent that's on show as well, I'm looking forward to putting him putting him away and, you know, get, getting back up to the uh, top two and three in Britain. Seems to be a natural dislike between yourself and Lawrence Bennett. Where does that sort of come from? I, I haven't a clue. Um, everything was fine leading up to the last fight, and then when we got there, he just turned into a dick. He started being arrogant, you know, thinking of something he wasn't, and he just took that into the ring with him. So, you know, there is a genuinely dislike, I just genuinely hate the guy. So, you know, I'm looking forward to going in there and causing some serious damage to him.